A Russian man was rescued in the stormy sea of Okhotsk after surviving for more than two months in a tiny inflatable boat that lost its engine, but his brother and nephew died, officials said Tuesday. The prosecutor's office in the far east of Russia said that the man was rescued Monday by a fishing vessel off the Kamchatka Peninsula. It didn't name the survivor, but Russian news reports identified him as 46-year-old Mikhail Pachujin, who in early August set on a journey to watch whales in the Sea of Okhotsk together with his 49-year-old brother and 15-year-old nephew. Their bodies were reportedly found in the boat when the Angel fishing vessel rescued Pachujin. Media reports said the three men traveled to the Shantar Islands off the northwestern shore of the Sea of Okhotsk in early August. They went missing after setting off on their way back to Sakhalin Island on August 9. A rescue effort was launched but failed to locate them. Russian media reported that the trio had a small food ration and about 20 liters of water when their engine failed and they found themselves adrift. Pichujin weighed about 50 kilograms when he was found, having lost half of his body weight, news report said. He didn't immediately say how he managed to survive in the Sea of Okhotsk, the coldest sea in East Asia and known for its gales, and how his brother and nephew died. When the crew of the fishing vessel spotted the tiny inflatable boat on their radar, they initially thought it was a buoy or a piece of junk, the Komsomolskia Pravda newspaper said, but they turned on the spotlight to make sure and were shocked to see Pichujin. A video released by the prosecutor's office showed an emaciated man in a life jacket desperately shouting, come here. And the crew working to pull him back to safety. I have no strength left, Pichujin said as he was taken to safety. Prosecutors said that they launched an investigation into the incident on charges of violation of safety rules that resulted in deaths. Вот одна, да, вот, вот вторая, вот, да. По предварительной информации, 9 августа текущего года двое мужчин и 15-летний подросток, сын одного из них, на лодке катамаранного типа выдвинулись от мыса Перовского Николаевского района Хабаровского края в сторону Ахинского района Сахалинской области. Через какое-то время связь с ними была утеряна, местоположение судна оставалось неизвестным, проводились поисково-спасательные мероприятия. 14 октября около 22 часов в катамаран был обнаружен проходящим мимо рыболовным судном в акватории Охотского моря в районе села Усть-Харюзова Камчатского края. Два человека погибли, один остался в живых, ему оказана первая медицинская помощь. Mourners gathered outside a cemetery in Tuba Zangarai in northern Israel on Monday for the funeral of 19-year-old Sergeant Yosef Heeb who was among four soldiers who were killed in a Hezbollah drone attack. On Sunday evening, the Israeli military said the troops died in the attack at an army base in the Binyamina area. It was the deadliest Hezbollah strike since Israel launched its ground invasion of Lebanon nearly two weeks ago. The Lebanon-based Hezbollah earlier claimed responsibility and called the attack retaliation for Israeli strikes on Beirut on Thursday that killed 22 people. Israel's National Rescue Service said the attack wounded 61. With Israel's advanced air defense systems, it's rare for so many people to be injured by drones or missiles. 
Hezbollah and Israel have traded fire almost daily in the year since the war in Gaza began, and fighting has escalated. Thank you.